Well, I expect that the ECB decides to extend its bond purchase program beyond March 2017, but they also have to tackle the scarcity problem, especially regarding German government bonds. And I think uh, they are likely to, to announce that they will buy German government bonds or bonds, even if they have uh, a yield below the deposit rate of minus 0.4%. If in contrast to our expectations they do not decide this package today, then quite certainly later in the year. But does that also mean that you think that, will scrap, that they will scrap the deposit rate all, uh, floor altogether? They are going to buy, to buy uh, negative yielding government bonds, uh, whatever they yield? Yeah, well, uh, effectively they, they abolish, but I, I could imagine um, a kind of average rule that they say yes you are allowed to buy government bonds with a with a yield below the deposit rate as long as you buy enough paper with a yield above the negative deposit rate to make sure that only on average the yield is above the deposit rate that means i should say a softening of the deposit limit um, looking at the effectiveness of the whole package we see from the ECB, I mean, it, still inflation is even going down, looking at core inflation. So the big question is whether those guys inside the ECB consider that perhaps they should use other tools. Yeah, well, it's nothing new. I think for, for many quarters, uh, it, it's, it's clear for most of the economists that the QE program of the ECB is not very effective. However, I think uh, the, the central bankers over there are more in a mood, if you are in, in trouble, double. Uh, this was uh, their behavior in the past. I think the ECB is not ready, ready to, to give in. Um, but uh, looking at recent surveys, we have been talking about that as well. Bank lending is still not doing what the, they want it to do. Um, do you think there is hope or there is a silver lining on the horizon when it comes to bank lending? Well, I don't, I don't think so. There's a survey done by the ECB which shows that 80-90% uh, uh, of the banks said that in the past 12 months they did not effectively use the liquidity provided by the QE to increase their lending. And uh, I don't, th I think uh, that uh, the QE program primarily benefits not the real economy, but the finance ministers. Yeah, and uh, wealthy people uh, who benefit uh, from, from rising valuations uh, in terms of, of apartments and equities.